Cheers. I was like, let me just film another video. A little chit chat. Then you gotta have a friend who's crazy, you know, who's going to make you do bad stuff. Stop. Listen. Stop prioritizing relationships. Don't have the money. Don't do it, Jolo. What are you doing? I like nice things. Give it a soft life. Give it a soft life, guys. Give it a soft life, nah. One of these days, it's about you have to just find a good couple and settle down with them, eh? You must not catch. You must not do this in an entanglement. Otherwise, but la horror. it's your girl gamma and if you're new hi honey how are you and welcome to the channel so if you're a returning subscriber welcome back honey and if you're new welcome this is the right place to be so guys i just finished doing my makeup all right and i was just like i can't let this beat go to waste so i was just like let me just film another video a little chit chat a little you know so we can just talk about just normal topics so i came up with a bunch of topics and uh, it's about five so i hope i'm able to finish it i do i'm not trying to have a longest video where i'm just talking and you guys are just listening but then if you're up for that watch the whole video like comment and subscribe if you like the vibe also don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can get notified anytime i post a new video let's get into it so you already know uh, i gotta have myself a drink so the first topic wait the first topic is friendships right now we all have friends we all we all have friends especially in school i mean that's where we make most of our friendships you know and as you grow some friendships you let go of some friendships grow stronger and sometimes you end up like you end up with like you end up being friends with people you never even thought you were going to be friends with trust me that has happened because when i went to like high school when i first got to grade eight i had a lot of friends and now that i'm in matric like i only have like what three friends and it's totally okay it's totally okay i feel like people just pressure themselves too much you know especially like when you're still like in high school you got like you want to fit in to a certain type of group um of um girls or like a certain group of people because they they, they deem as cool or you know they're the group that's like getting the most attention and stuff like that and it's not worth it it is not worth it to be honest it's best to be in a group where you're comfortable you can be yourself when, without being judged and you can do stuff that you want to do it and like you don't have to like feel forced to do it you know like it's completely not worth it it's not you know so with the friendship thing i feel like um yo people go through a lot because of friendships i know personally i've gone through a lot so the only thing i have to say about friendships basically is that um if you're comfortable within that friend group if you're um if you ever feel the need to act different when you're around them and then you act completely different when you're around like when you're home around another group of people then that's not a good friendship for you that's not a good friend group for you because it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna drive you to do things that you're not comfortable in doing like for example um you know let's say the, the the type of like friend group is a group that's like out there you know um into boys into like drugs and alcohol and partying and then and then you find out that that's not the type of things you want to do that's not your space and then obviously it's good it's going to affect you because you're going to end up doing things that you don't want to do which could possibly like put you in trouble and stuff like that you don't you don't want that baby girl and you know as long as you have like your self-confidence and your confidence in yourself you basically you will you'll know you'll know that okay you know what in this space i'm i'm not I'm not okay i'm correct you know and then in some cases you find that um you're in a friend group and like you can see which is in these people like you, you when you guys converse and stuff and you can say hi man 
Me and these people are not on the same level of like mentality or uh, paths are not on the same, you know. And it's up to you to take yourself out of that situation. Because you can see, Khuri, let's say um, you're not ready to be like on the type of things that they're doing or like talking about. Or you you think like, oh, you you, you, you can see good again again uh, your mentality and your maturity level and your um, uh, thoughts and whatnot or your plans about the future does not align with theirs. Take yourself out of that fucking friendship because that is going to bring you down. You're going to keep thinking, Guti, you're, you don't fit in or you're going to keep thinking, Guti, something's weird about you because, you know, you get, you're not relating to them. Take yourself out of the situation, honey. It's a bad, <laughs> it's a bad place to be in, to be honest. And nothing, if, if you have to question yourself once or twice about the friendship, then Take a take a ring. It's, it's like this. Get out of there. Get out of there, man. I'm telling you, get out of there. Yeah, basically. But at the end of the day, you do find friendships that are actually genuine and you feel happy and you don't want to let that person go. See, that's the type of friendship you should go for. Personally, I think, uh, yo, I, like m the friends that I have now, honestly, if they were to like turn their backs on me, <laughs> I'm going to tell your mom you're having a sex. <laughs> Um, now I actually have grown more comfortable into being friends with guys than girls, which is totally okay. Now, when you're around guys, you know, there's certain things you can't talk about, obviously, but then those people, like, you'll laugh, you'll laugh most definitely, you know, they'll protect you from stuff, and when you hang around guys, you really won't give a shit about, like, a lot of stuff, like, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, if that's your type of vibe, go for it, hun. Like, I have a lot of guy friends. And when I'm around them, I'm honestly comfortable and I feel safe. And I will have a blast. Even if we are going to a group or we are just sitting there at school by break. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. And in the past, I always thought that being friends with guys is like, oh my gosh, ew, what is that even? You know? But it's actually not. It's like, it's vibes over there, guys. Try it. It's like, guy friends are it. Are it. And then you gotta have like, you gotta have that one friend who, you know, those, that, the, the, the girlfriends, that one friend who's gonna give you like proper advice and guide you, you know, like you, have, you gotta have a friend who's more mature than you because <laughs> you can't be all that. And then you gotta have a friend who's crazy, you know, who's going to make you do bad stuff, but not hectic bad stuff, you know, just, yeah. But, like, overall, friendship is a beautiful thing, especially if you and the person vibe and, you know, you guys have, like, an actual solid, like, fun type of relationship, you know? A type of friendship that you feel like you're no longer friends and you guys are, like, siblings at a point. That's amazing. If you can get yourself that, honey, period. Okay, so the second topic is self-confidence. Now, child. This is kind of sensitive for me because I, I literally have um, suffered from low self-esteem a lot, a lot, especially when I got into high school. Now, grade eight, listen, when you get to high school, man, in primary school, you used to like, like, you don't care. Like, you still have that child in you. You don't care how you dress. You don't care how you look. Like, you don't care, you know. But when you get to high school, child, <laughs> And, and people say that place is hell i honestly it, it, it's, it's no child's play people there will break your self-confidence to a point where you feel like you feel like you're useless i say they're going to be school the people there the teachers the schoolwork, and it can also be social media it doesn't even have to be school social media can literally break down your confidence like there down there you know like it, it can it can it does that, to be honest, but we'll get back to that after we talk about school. So now the school parts, when I was in grade 8, I was like, cr <laughs> I was crusty as fuck. But, um, well, now when I look back at it, you know, obviously you love about it, it's just like, you, you, you were crusty. Obviously everyone grows up and we glow up and dun dun. And then, but then the one thing about that is that at the time, I was in love with myself, you know. I was content until certain people 
obviously made me question my appearance, made me question the way I talk, made me question the way I dress, the way I do stuff. You know, obviously, there's like, oh, is that like higher group, uh, a, a higher grade that's like maybe like a bunch of girls from like a higher grade that's that are going to make you feel like. Yeah, for me, it happened, Shim. For me, in grade eight, um, I had that problem where I would compare myself a lot to other girls. I would compare myself to older girls, even. And I think at the time, the problem was that I didn't think about the fact that they were also my age at a point. And they also looked this way or they also acted this way before they, they were what they were at the time. So I definitely did, which is a bad thing. Like, I've learned to never compare myself to anyone. Like, don't do that to yourself. Whether you're a guy or a girl, don't compare yourself to the next guy. Don't compare yourself to the next girl. Because literally, their beauty or their whatever, their greatness, is not the absence of your own. And you better you better note that down because their greatness, their beauty, is not the absence of your own. You know, as soon as you like you find your 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 craft, you find yourself, you find your you know that one thing that makes you happy, you find yourself. I'm telling you, no one is gonna like no matter what they say on don't like no no one's gonna say shit and that's on what point that period so obviously confidence is something that you build up it does not just the people who have confidence like that they're really lucky but then confidence is something you build up so me i built it by like finding out what i like what i like doing and i, I got comfortable with in my own skin i got comfortable in, in, in the way i act I, I got a child i think you can tell that i'm pretty confident about myself you know and i found hobbies that i really like that look like you see makeup is one of my hobbies and when i when i have makeup on child i feel like i literally feel like i don't know i feel like uh, let's not get into that because we don't want to make this video too long <laughs> but uh definitely self-confidence is something that you can definitely build up on and you don't have to rush it you literally have all the time just learn not to compare yourself learn learn not to doubt yourself in any situation whatsoever and obviously you will have breakdown mental breakdowns you will have those days we all do but don't ever give a person the chance to even try to break you down because trust me the person you're comparing yourself to is going through the same things but obviously we don't want our enemies to see us breaking down so obviously we will present the parts that is like happy the parts that is flourishing you know so don't ever let nobody take that away from you child don't do that to you Sue. no no um let's get into the next topic before <laughs> so the next topic is one that you guys are all interested about relationships um dollar now listen personally relationships are not a big factor of my life they're not i feel like a lot of people especially the social social media can make you want a relationship so bad like Nifuna my video but whenever you are ready yay like nifuna nifuna wonke la my video abu 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 ini lo motif cuz that's the app where you guys mesh videos of you and your partner trust me you're going to get that if it's meant for you if it's not honey damn that she it is honestly um so what i think about relationships like relationship is a beautiful thing especially if you and that person you know understand each other and all that fun stuff all that fun stuff so if like oh my gosh this topic though <laughs> let me talk about relationships based on my personal experiences name so in the past i think a lot of girls can relate to um i've been in relationships where um i completely changed the way i would do things you know to please that person you're in a relationship with um you do things where you're not comfortable doing you do you say stuff you, like yeah you become a whole different person because you know the person that you're dating likes certain stuff so you do those things and wada wada but guys it's not worth it it's not worth it to be honest stop prioritizing relationships stop 
listen mamela ne stop prioritizing relationships they are not compulsory i i swear relationships are not compulsory don't do that to yourself unless you're ready mentally financially then you can jol because like it's um jol is very money is very important in 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 a relationship like money is very important like a relationship requires money and if you don't have the money don't do em jol what are you doing don't do that don't do that don't do that yeah and um another thing is that in relationships you have to be strong you have to just um, jolo is not for the week like um, jolo don't 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 papela em jolo because baso baso chitela atambela manga like kunjalo and if you can't bounce back from cheating or from heartbreaks or from then it's not going to work out for you my darling it's not hey yo yo it's not hot, eh? but yeah guys one thing i can say about relationships don't rush them don't prioritize them because they're not compulsory it's peer pressure from social media from friends from whatever don't do that don't don't do that yeah but julian if you have this bindi go right ahead dive in love the next topic is money money honey money like money guys like money is a gang 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 money guys do you see the smile on my face like i love money guys i love money but then the thing is i love money and i make my own money point back period we all love money guys and it's healthy it's health if you love money you are healthy if you don't love money something's wrong with you but guys um and i feel like i feel like this is a good topic because i've noticed that especially in my age group these days people in my age group are working hey like okay if you are the age group before you come at me but in tangazami i can see everyone is like everyone is determined everyone wants to make it out of the hood everyone wants is zaga you know i've noticed like everyone is working like when you go to social media most of like the the influencers or youtubers these new youtubers and you know everyone is like especially my age group like 18 to like 24 type of vibes everyone is working everyone wants to get the bag and that's good that's good because and i feel like mostly for women mostly for women now excuse me most women are, are are literally determined to make their own money most women are no longer dependent on men to like give them money and stuff and stuff and stuff and i love to see it i love to see ladies working you know getting the bag so you can buy yourself those red bottoms period love period like personally for me um i like things i like things and i like i like nice things ne yeah. and i know that the only way i'm going to be able to get nice things is if i have a man and i want to get them myself because i'm never i'm never going to give a man or anyone matter of fact the satisfaction of um having to do stuff for me no 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 because the thing is these days ne um if someone does something for you they gonna they gonna like it's like now okay i did this for you now you have to do this for me honey no i'm not about that life so if i can't get it myself no one else will that's what i've told myself and i like nice things so i have to have money i like nice things give it a soft life give it a soft life guys give it a soft life na na give it a soft life and no one is going to give me a soft life unless i get my ass up every day and get me some money you know it's either like make a plan to it's either you're working a 9 to 5 you're having your own business or you're going to school there's something that you're doing you must be doing something to get you a money get you a money guys like everything needs a money get you a money i'm not even like get money secure the bag work work especially if you're a woman work it up hun work it up my love period
the next topic is <laughs> the last topic actually is entanglements <laughs> entanglements yo guys <laughs> This is a nice topic for me because honestly, anyone who's having entanglements, me, I'm supporting you 100%. I'm behind you, I'm rooting for you, even. Do entanglements, guys. Do entanglements because people are not even happy in their relationships. Get into their relationships. And one of these days, it's about you have to just find a, a good couple and settle down with them, eh? That's the vibe. <laughs> okay i'm kidding but like entanglements entanglements you know like obviously they come with their own ne negatives but uh why, why not have a fun have a fun guys you know there's certain people these days who are seeing people see people go on dates guys like casual dating it's a thing it's a thing do it let me tell you let me let me give you a little advice before you tell yourself that you know what like seafood is my favorite type of food before you decided that you had to taste every single thing you tasted a burger you tasted a pizza you tasted home cooked meal you tasted everything and then you registered for no man seafood is my favorite so you get the point so the the, the point is you must taste every single thing Every single thing before you can figure out which one is your favorite. You can't suffer. You can't suffer. Both genders even. You can't suffer. Choose, guys. See people before you decide which one is your favorite. And stick to that one if you are ready to stick to that one. But otherwise, Jola. Like, get into entanglement. Do all that. Do it, loves. Me, Shem, I'm all for it. I don't care what anyone says. I'm all for it. Me. Me, I'm all. Like, go and date, guys. Talk to different people. Flirt. Do it. Because you have to figure out which place is your favorite. Before you stick to it. You understand what I'm saying. Sick. It's nice, guys. It's nice. Entanglement. As, as long as you protect yourself. If you're going to have a sex. Protect yourself, please. As many sicknesses out there. Protect yourself, guys. Yeah, if you're going to do entanglement. If you're feeling that type of vibe, I'm all for it. But protect yourself. Make sure that your mental health is okay for that because entanglements must not have feelings. You must not catch, you must not do this in an entanglement. Otherwise, but like hurt her. They will hurt you. Don't do that to yourself. Don't catch, guys. Rather catch your flu and not feelings. You know, those type of vibes. So protect yourself, don't catch feelings, and what else? Have fun. Have fun as long and don't get caught <laughs> do not get caught that's the one don't get caught guys don't do that to yourself yeah be smart about it be smart about it and if you uh in an entanglement don't have a problem if the person you're in entanglement with is having another entanglement you get what i'm saying because it's an entanglement there's no feelings attached there's there's no it's not, mm, don't do that be cool about it me we're not talking about me but there's my advice that's my advice guys um i've reached the end of all my topics well the other one was mental health but hey i don't want to talk about that because right now i don't have mental health i'm i'm in school how do i have mental health proper mental health if i'm writing exams me i'm not going to be okay until i finish the trick Maybe we can talk about mental health. But for now, that is it for the video, you guys. I hope you watched till the end. Because if you didn't, my village people will work on you. My village people will work on you. But anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the vibe. If you don't like the video, you lose a leg. I'm joking, but I love you, honey. And today's post notification shout outs goes to this beautiful love over here. Thank you, honey, so much for showing love. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to tune in again next time, guys. From me to you, with a love. Till the next one. Bye.